Sometimes it is very much embarrassing, very much shameful. And then that for a man like me, you struggle a lot, you suffer, even you don't eat well. And also you don't wear well so that your kids can live well, so that your family can stay well. But it reaches a time when your kids become big, they have jobs, then their mother tells them not to assist you as a father. Wapendwa ni jambo ambalo lila kuzunisha sana. And that's why most of men wanakufa mapema. Because they are very much stressed. Na stress inatoka wapi? From their family. And remember, he family ambayo inampea stress, anakufa mapema, ndiyo familia ambayo alikuwa anaishugulikia hapo awali. So I want to advise you, my viewers. Eh, labda unanitazama, you have a family. Labda watoto wako bado wadoko. Ama unanitazama na uko na wazazi wote wawili, baba na mama. Please make sure you assist them all. Usibagwe. Usiseme oh, sitasaidia baba ama sitasaidia mama. Hapana, help your parents in equal. Labda unanitazama you have a father na huyu baba huwa anakuwa mlevi. So unapata ya kwamba wakati ambapo huyu mzazi wa kiume anakuwa mlevi utapata kuna yale mambo ambayo mama atakwambia ya kwamba usitumie baba yako pesa ama usifanye what and what but you as a child wewe kama mtoto wa hiyo nyumba you have to use your common sense you have to reason you have to remember ile mapito ambayo your dad alipitia sometimes unapata mzee alikuwa anaenda kazini kule anajinyima kukula lunch so that he can save for your supper or for your school fees then tumefika wakati umeshasoma umeshakuwa mkubwa umepata kazi mjini then your mother anakwambia usisaidie your parent ama your dad because ni mlevi because uh, yani anachukua ile chuki ambao wako nayo ana kuingiza ndani kama mtoto that is bad so wewe ambao unanitazama you have your dad please assist that dad wewe kama mtoto ndio utasaidia your father to live a long life but wakati ambapo tunatenga wanaume tunatenga wazazi wa kiume ndio maana unapata ya kwamba baba anakuwa na stress baba anaingia kwa pombe because hataki kukumbuka yale mapito ambayo alikuwa anapitia so unapata anaingia katika madawa za kulevia pombe sigara kutafuna migoka na hata kuingia katika yani akiamuka asubuhi e, ila ambayo anaweza fanya ni kwenda katika kituo cha pombe ama kucheza zile makomar kamari because tumewapatia stress so please wewe ambao unanitazama wewe ambao ni mama wewe ambao unanitazama and you are a mother please help your kids to love your eh, to love your husband their father shawishi watoto huenda kuna ile tabia ama mienendo ambao mzazi wa kiume ako nayo ambao inaudhi watoto tell them advise them tell them hata kama ako na ile tabia he steals to be their father hii mambo ambayo ya kwamba wewe as a mother munakaa chini you discuss the mume wako baba ya watoto wako na watoto wako so watoto wanaona baba yao kukuwa ni kama ni mbaya but kama angekuwa mbaya hangewaza so please mothers ambao mnanitazama tafadhali help your kids to love their father help your kids please because in most cases utapata mama ndio anakuwa na watoto then ile mambo ambayo utazungumza na watoto kuhusu their dad it a determine if they love their dad or not so please let us help them to love their father na ya kwamba unajua wewe ambao unanitazama na labda wewe ni kijana uko mjini ama hata uko mashambani 
na umekuwa ukiwa na chuki na you are father na ya kwamba unapenda mama yako peke yako remember you are also a father to your kids so kila ambacho umefanyia baba yako katika ile umri ya uze hata wewe utafika mahali pale because what comes around what goes around comes around so unafanyia your dad eh vile unamfanyia madharau hutaki kumtumia kitu eh, unatumia tu mama ili naye mama atiagawie baba so utapata when you become old the same same thing that you you do to your father now hata we watoto wako watakuwa natumia mama yao ili na yeye akugawie amsini because kile unapanda ndicho utavuna so please tuombe Mungu atupe hekima hata kama mzazi ni mlevi hata kama you are father anakunywa anajisahau he stills to be your father so please try your level best to saidi hao watu wote na Mungu atatubariki then Baba amebeba baraka mingi. Baba amebeba baraka mingi katika maisha ya mtoto. So when, when you have a good relationship with your father, utapata utapokea baraka mingi. Na ya kwamba baba ako na siri mingi, anaweza kukuambia ukimsongea. But yale mambo ambayo ninaona ya kwamba unapata mama unakalisha watoto, unawaambia ya kwamba msitumie baba yenu pesa usisaidie baba yako usimununulie nguo usifanye a b c d akikupigia simu usishike that is nonsense unapoteza watoto because huyu baba ukiangalia in most cases wale watu ambao wanasumbukana sana because of their kid ni father ni wachache sana ambao utapata wameacha jamii zao but in most cases baba plays a big role in the growth of his or her or his children in the education of his children wearing the dressing shelter so unapata baba ako na kazi mingi then unaweza pata baba alikuwa ako mjini mama ako mashambani pale pale mashambani mnasoma mnalipiwa school fees baba anatumia mama ndio akulipie kwa shule so when, wakati alikuwa anafanya hivyo wewe kwa akili yako unafikiria una, una ni mama ambaye alikuwa analipa but ni baba alikuwa nangana mjini sasa zingine hata anafungiwa nyumba sasa zingine hata ananyeshewa na mvua akifanya jua kali ila kulipia school fees so umefika wakati ya kwamba umeshasoma umemaliza college ama university unadharau your father unaona hafai i want to promise you ukifanya hivyo hiyo masomo yako hata ukwe na kazi gani haitakusaidia hata upate pesa gani haitakusaidia and that's why unapata mtu ni tajiri ako na pesa ako na kila kitu but because um, alikuwa na madharau kwa mzazi wake mzazi wake akafa na machungu ama hata bado hajakufa lakini ile mapito unapitia uko na pesa lakini hauna amani magonjwa pressure kansa eh? madeni saa zingine eh? because ile ambayo ulikuwa unafanyia you are, you are dead so watu wengi tukae chini to assess ourselves tuone ile mambo mabaya ambayo tumekuwa tukifanyia our dads please let us change to change na familia mingi zimelaaniwa kwa nini kwa sababu ya kudharau baba because unapata baba anapozeeka watoto wanaegemea upande wa mama so unapata yule mzee ako na stress mzee anashinda na njaa na nyinyi watoto mko na pesa mnatumia tu mama then mama ukimtumia because mzee sasa amezeeka mama ana haja naye utapata ya kwamba huyu mama hata shughulikia mzee hata mpikia ye mama ni kuamka asubuhi kuoga kwenda vyama kwenda mshene because anajua kona pesa akirudi ama kule akule ku hoteli ama akirudi akuja apike kachakula kake kidogo akule then mzee anabaki akiwa na njaa so please let us try tukae chini kama jamii tujue baba ndiye kiongozi ndiye kichwa so ukifanyia madharau kichwa familia imeanguka nyinyi kama watoto nyinyi ndio mnabaki mama amemaliza mambo yake 
you should know that where went your bado uko your mom hata kama bado anaishi amemaliza mambo yake ya ushichana ilisha maisha yake ya kwamba ni mafupi but where you still have a long life on this earth so please let us try to look for the blessing from our parents na Mungu atatubariki so tafadhali tusisi kuna ushauri mwingine mzazi anaweza kuambia kama ni mbaya mkataze in a good way mama anaweza kuambia baba yako usimfanyie a b c d enda kaa chini kama mtoto kama mtoto wa huyo mzazi ujiasses ya kwamba mama ameniambia nisinunulie baba nguo kwa nini why hmm? wengi mama zetu wamefanya tumepata ba, eh, lahana kutoka kwa kwa baba because ya kwamba eh, tunas, tunaamini sana mama zetu kuliko baba so unapata Baba anakufa akiwa na uzuni, akama na uzunika, wengine tunachangia baba zetu kupata magonjwa which is very very much eh, bad. So please wewe mama, wewe mzee ambao unanitazama, wewe ni mama umekoma, uko na watoto, uko na wajukuu, please ambia watoto wako wasaidie baba yao. Wewe ambao unanitazama labda haujafikia ile umri ya uze lakini wewe ni mama waijalishi kama wewe you are a single mother lakini unajua baba ya ule mtoto ambao uko nayo ako ako please wacha kuvunja ile usiano ambao wako nao na baba yake because hata kama alimkata he still to be his or her father so make sure mtoto anakuwa na usiano mwema na baba yake. Hii mambo ambayo ya kwamba sisi kama wazazi tunapokosana. Labda mama umekosana na baba. Then unaleta issue zenu unaingiza ndani mtoto. Tunaharibu maisha ya mtoto. Ni laana tunaleta kwa mtoto. Why? Because utapata huyu mtoto kama e, anaishi na mama. Mama unamwambia yale mambo mabaya ya baba yake, utapata mtoto atachukia baba yake. Then ile blessing ambayo angepata kwa baba yake hatapata so please let us try to make sure that ile kukosana ama ile kutofautiana ambayo iko kati yetu isifikie watoto let us be in good term tuwe a good ambassador between we and our kids na Mungu atatubariki. Tule watoto wetu kwa hekima. Hekima itokao kwa Bwana. Hata kama kuna ishu, wacha wasijue. Maana wakijua mtoto ataweka lile jambo kwa roho na hata ya kwamba utapata hata mpenda yule baba. So please wa mama ambao mnanitazama tujaribu ya kwamba tufanye sisi ndio tutasaidia watoto wa wapende baba zao na Mungu atatubariki have a nice time and may almighty god bless you kama uja subscribe please make sure you subscribe our youtube channel may god bless you